Well, we've managed to put a door on this car, all four tires, and every component under the hood, including the engine. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a car. How's it going everybody? I'm IGP and welcome to Jalopy. To best describe this game, I'd say it's a driving simulation game, or rather, a driving and mechanic simulation game. I think the story goes that we're in Germany, the Berlin Wall has fallen, and my character's uncle has been passed down this piece of shit car. Now we're gonna take this car on a long road trip east and head towards my uncle's birthland. I don't know where that is. Now while we're on this road trip, we have to maintain the car in almost every aspect, whether it be the lights, the tires, or the engine. We have to stop at places, get parts, and fix it if it needs fixing. Now there's a lot of depth to that process, apparently you can actually barter things or sell things to get more money to buy better parts later on, and it's even been said that you can smuggle things past patrol <laughs> and earn money from that as well. So you have a lot of creative freedom on how to maintain this vehicle to get to where you need to go. Now the map is supposed to be procedurally generated, so all these things are going to be a little bit different each time you play through. And what you're looking at now is the pre-alpha press demo. It's not actually out yet. The game is coming out on early access on the 14th of April, so I'll link to the Steam page down below so you guys can keep up to date with it. I don't know how long the demo will last, but I plan on doing a full Let's Play of this game. Just because it seems like something that you can play and relax and have fun with and kind of just chat. It's something I've been looking for for a long time. So I'm going to start it now. I might have to take a break until it actually releases in early access on the 14th to continue. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So June 23rd, 1990, the Berlin Wall has fallen, causing a ripple of political change throughout the East. My uncle, after years of service to the state, has been rewarded with the unrestricted access of a Leica 601 Deluxe Motor Vehicle. Apparently that's a very popular vehicle at the time. With his newfound freedom, we had to head east to his birthland. It has been 41 years since he has seen that far away place. Great. So let's go ahead and get started here. And as soon as I hit continue, the, <laughs> the door falls off the vehicle. Wake up! Wake up! Ah, wake, finally. Oh god, what is this? Are you my uncle? Maybe. Hey, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. <laughs> Well, thank you. Whoa, that's a huge bed. Come on, I have something important to show you, do you? Yeah, your tailor. Jesus, what is with the texture of that sweater suit thing? Jeez, hold on now. Wow, is this my place? Ooh, I have a... Okay, so I can turn off the light. That's cool. Uh, I got the alarm. Can't really do anything with anything in the drawer. Okay, no. I like the art style. That's interesting. I can't read that, obviously. Hello? Oh, was that me? That was me. All right. We don't want, we don't want to waste electricity here. It's very important that we, we save all of this. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. A uh, bucket of water. And so, I'm assuming I'm not going to touch any of this stuff yet. Let me get to the, the weird textured suit uncle. Here's the Leica 601 Deluxe. Great. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 22.5 seconds. <laughs> the top speed of 100 kilometers an hour, all at the economical rate of 25 miles per gallon. Okay. 25 miles per gallon, but we're measuring it in kilometers. Am I missing something here? That is if we can get her running. Not to worry, I have everything ready. We just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. Build an engine? I hardly think that that means that this is ready. Let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of the scrap pile behind you. Okay? If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Oh. Okay. 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 I want you to... Oh. Weird. Is that is that what we call squinting? All right. What what, what can I do? Uh, crouch is shift. What? That's weird. Uh, control Alt doesn't do anything. Uh, Q E E blinks. We can manually blink in this game, and I'm not sure why. This is not SCP containment. Jesus. I was about to fall down. Okay. Hello. I'm just gonna grab you and run because this thing feels like it's gonna fall down. All right, buddy. What do you need with this? Put it on here, I guess. Ah, oh, just slap it right on there. It's elegant, but it's on. Right now, let's fit the engine, okay? If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that, and we'll release... Okay. Let's open this up. Can you see this black latch? should be under the steering wheel. Yeah, like where it normally would be. Usually, it's... I don't know this model. Oh, hello. That's it. You got it. Cool. All right, so we're going to open the, the hood. Ah, here we go. As you can see, she needs an engine. Oh, uh, yeah, and pretty much everything. I, this is very barren. I've got a load of stock parts sat in the garage. Go collect one, and I'll walk you through what it does. Okay. All right, so is that what this stuff is? 
Ah, I keep trying to shift. Oh, here we go. All right, so let's get... I know what the battery does. I mean, I, I have a general understanding of what these car parts do, but you can explain it to me. That's the battery, which provides electrical charge for your Leica. Okay, where can I put it? Right here. Battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, and that kind of stuff. Okay, if your Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Okay, go ahead, drop it in the engine. Boom. Okay. Whoa, what? Battery, a 12 volt lead acid automotive battery that supplies electric energy to vehicle. 100% charge, one kilo kilogram away. Okay. So this is what we have to do. We have to open the hood and look at each part and make sure it's maintained. We still need to install the ignition coil, the engine block, the air filter, the carburetor, the fuel tank, and the water tank. Yeah, you've had this complete prepared, uncle. Can I grab more than one thing? Yes, I can. Can I grab all this? Ah, God. That was very loud. Okay, let's just bring this stuff and see what he says. Hello. Ah, that's a carburetor which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls what miles per gallon you'll get out of your Leica. Okay. Well-maintained carburetor will mean you use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Ah, see? That's cool. Go ahead and drop it in the engine. All right. Boom. That's the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Okay. You've been good to condition, it'll start to leak water. You'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Okay. I don't want that. Go ahead and drop it in the engine. Where? Ah, right there. That's a weird place for that to sit. Little thing is the ignition coil. Ignition coil channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead, drop it in the engine. Okay, so I see why he did this, because, uh... You know. He has to explain everything to me so I know how to maintain it while I'm on the road. Now, how far is this journey? No one told me yet. No one picked that up, picked that up, picked that up. I think only three things, and I think that's it anyway. Cool. So he was prepared, he just wanted to tell me what each individual part does. Okay, you're holding the air filter, a non-essential component, okay? The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Okay. Go ahead and drop it to the engine. Well, that sounds important to me. That's huge. Big little metal is called the fuel tank, which holds the fuel for your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the binet and fill directly to the tank when refueling, okay? As your Leica is running a two-stroke engine, that means you'll want to mix in some oil to the fuel mixture. Failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drop. What? This is going to be difficult to maintain. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Uh, let it get too beaten up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Okay. Go ahead and drop it to the engine. So will I get a sign that something bad's happening at the time? I don't even know. That's the engine block you've got there. The core of your Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it to the engine. I'm very sorry that if that's not how you pronounce it... Um, whoa! Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Where am I putting it? Oh! Whoops! Alright, let me put that there. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Yeah, I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name of this vehicle. Please let me know in the comment section below if I am, or mispronouncing any words that I keep repeating over and over again. Sorry about that. Uh, we still need to fill the car with petrol, oil, and water. <clears throat> now, to fill her up, we're getting nowhere without fuel. There should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a bottle of two-stroke oil in the garage. Okay. Go and collect them and walk you through refueling your car. Fantastic. So, you need to fill the car with petrol. I heard you the first time, buddy. Ah, yes. I'll take all three of you because I can do that. I got three arms. That's a can of fuel you're holding there. If you use that fuel to cap, the fuel tank will just install to begin fueling the car with fuel. Okay. Where do I... Right there. Oh, there we go. Try holding it there to fill the car quicker. Okay. The whole thing, I guess. There we go. All right. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Q. Okay. If you got a bottle of water, good job. I've used that water tank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it right here. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Put that back in. I'm trying. I don't know what, 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 what you want me to do. No. Open the lid and then fuel it up. There we go. Okay. You drop that when you're done with it. Okay. Sure. About two stroke oil in your hands. Uh, you want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. Okay. Lean mixture will result in faster carb will increased wear to the engine. A rich mix will result in the opposite. Okay. Do I use the fuel tank? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Where is the fuel tank? Which one was the fuel tank again? Stock fuel tank. Oh, I have to add it. Okay. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. All right, cool. Done. Let me put the battery back in. Close that. Okay, good. How are we looking? Are we done? I, I don't know. Are we good? 
All right, so what, what what can we do now, buddy? I got all this stuff. What do you want me to do with it? I'll put it all back, huh? I <laughs> like how you just like, bring. Oh, there's more stuff to get. Okay. Oh, the tires. I only can carry three. That's fine. <laughs> Sell, buy at 50. Okay. Hello. Oh, I guess I'll just shove these on. Oh, right. I need to grab the jack. Well, I guess I can just bring this all out now and drop it here so I can use it. Hello. Okay, so let me pick up the jack. Uh, can I use this on something? The front of the car. Where do you want me? Oh, here we go. Boom. Cool. Now we can put the tires on, I think. Ah, there we go. There's one tire. And there's the other. And then I guess we take this back. Oh, I got to tighten the lug nuts. There's only one. Yay. There we go. All right, so we got two wheels on. Can I take this off now? And there we go. All right, we're going to put it on the other side. Ah, see, I know how to do this. This isn't complicated at all. Can I close this door? Yes. Oop, sorry. And raise that up. And put the tire on. Drop that. Put the tire on there. And put the other tire on here. Tighten that up. And tighten this up. Boom. Done, son. And that's the whole tire business. All right, so we got our wheels done. Uh, do I need to prop it up again? I don't think so. Let me close the trunk. We got all the tires on. I'll go back in here and see what else we got. I guess we're going to go clean it, right? I guess I'll take both of these and see what I can do with this. The car's moving. Why is the car moving? Let me put the emergency brake on. Can I not? I can't put the emergency brake on. Okay, well, the car, the car's moving now, so that's fantastic. I got the wheels on it, but I'm not sure what to do. What happened to the center blocks? Well, we've managed to put a door on this car, all four tires, and every component under the hood, including the engine. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a car. Maybe I gotta put everything in the trunk. Like, everything that I might need. Let me just take all this extra shit and put it up in that trunk. Maybe, I don't even know. Really confused on what I need to be doing here. Okay, let me close the trunk. Close this. And then the last thing I have is the bucket of of stuff. What would you like me to do with this? Clean the clean something? What am I missing here? Let me drop these buckets. Or that bucket. Roll up that window. Pull that latch. Open this damn thing. What do you want me to do? Put it back in, will you? Okay. Oh, I must have glitched it. I think I must have done it something out of order, but see the tires in the car. All right, now let's see how she runs. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, what? Over in the garage, bring it over here and we'll get the car started. R. You may want to load the truck with any spares left over in the garage. You can never be sure. Left in the okay, let me put this back. Where am I going now? I, I think I put, I think I've already done that, sir. I think I've done all of that. So let me just pick up this bucket, um, close the hood, and then get in the car. Cl Before we start, car jack. Wait, you need to bring over the car jack so we can begin. Maintenance manual, basically running the car. Begin what? The car jack? Oh, thank you. Here you find information regarding the basic overview. Okay, you'll need to bring the car jack so we can begin. Okay, I think I've glitched the game out. Okay, yeah, this is great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Go ahead and drop that. Okay, we'll drop that. Next, you'll need the map. Yeah, I've definitely glitched this thing out. Okay. Well, let's get the map. Thank you. This one is important. It allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. Okay. Cool. Route 1, Route 2, Route 3. Cool. Need to bring over the car jack so we can begin. Shut up. All right, so we're going to choose Route 3, I guess. Once a round has been selected, we're committed to driving it. Okay, once again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. The other pages include your statistic tracking and unlocks tracking. You need to bring over the cart. Shut up! Stop glitching out and just help me. You can have a look through that later. Okay, we'll, we'll close that. And finally, the keys. Thank you. Just pop the mini ignition and she's all yours. I know. I need the jack, right? I need to bring the jack over. Okay. Thank you for the keys. I would love to just get this started. Let's turn it over. Sweet. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa. That's really fast. 
All right, slow down there, buddy. It's running, it's running smooth. Thanks, Uncle, for all your help. We did this without any problems at all. Okay, so this is how our journey begins. I don't know which route I have to take, though. Maybe that determines the procedural generation of the next map. And so it begins our journey. Cool. Head towards Dresden. Okay, we'll be traveling the Autobahn for this first part. This should give you a chance to get grips. Okay, sweet, the Autobahn. No speed limit, as far as I understand. But people generally go around like 80 or 90, right? Okay. This is a very quiet car, I gotta say. This is a nice little ride, too. Now, will there be other people on the road with me? Oh, there's a door there. I'm super curious to check that door out. Sorry, guys. Oh, can I knock it out? Maybe I have to turn it off. There we go. Aha! I want to check out that door. Hello. Secret door. Open up. Okay, nobody. Fine. I wonder if that stuff is going to be all over the place. Ha, ah, this is going to be an interesting, an interesting playthrough. There we go. Turn off the brake. And let's go. And what are these things above me? Lights? Those things could fall at any point. There's another door. So this is, this is very calming. Now, I don't know how to check. I guess I'll get a check engine light, maybe? I don't know if there's actually an old dashboard with those kind of lights. I don't know. I don't know this vehicle. Hello? Wow, I can turn my head completely around. God, some exorcist shit. There's a tank. Hi. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so there are other vehicles on the road. And we're all going into a roundabout. Fantastic. All right, so we have to abide by the laws of driving. I definitely don't want to damage this vehicle because it's going to cost a lot to repair. Y'all are taking way too long. Plus, I don't know the route. Am I always going to have you with me? Because you're kind of a nuisance. Oh, is there going to be an accident? Here we go. All right. All right, let's just follow. Ooh. Okay. The roads are very brown. Not what I imagine, you know, asphalt to look like. So I'll go through your journey a little with you. Cool. We're heading towards Dresden so we can cross the border into the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Sweet. No, wait, that's not right. They didn't change the name recently. Hmm. What was it? Ha <laughs> That's funny. All right. So, oh, wow. This is actually quite beautiful. Now, I can technically get out and travel this entire thing, right? I think the main game, the main focus of this game is to be in the vehicle. So, yeah, I think I think this is going to be a great playthrough. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. We spent the entire first episode just building the car, which is cool. We got to learn what all the parts do and learn that it's a very intricate system um, that we actually have to take care of in the game. So it's not just like, hey, let's stop by the auto repair shop and they'll fix the whole thing for you. No question that. So, yeah, we actually have to pay attention to our vehicle. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, the game comes out on the 14th of April in early access. You want to get off my tail? Thank you. I'm just going to take up all these lanes. Uh, links will be in the description below if you guys want to take a look at that. And, of course, keep a lookout. I will continue the Let's Play once that is out. So, thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.